Oh, where the heck am I? I have no idea. Where, where am I? Let me check this door. It won't open. How about this door over here? It won't open either. What about around this corner? Hello? Anyone? I can't find my way. Where am I? Corey, wake up. What's that cool breeze? Oh, Corey, thank goodness that pants up. up. Mommy? I can't find my way. Where am I? Corey, wake up! What are you doing sleeping? We have a video to shoot. <laughs> so it was a dream. I was... Did you at least have pants on this time? Yes, I did and <laughs> still, still do. No, it was That's the one way. about school. Oh yeah, the one where you uh, were getting lost, right? Yes. Ah, uh, well, look at, luckily for you, in today's video we are talking about the new indoor navigation features of the Seeing AI app. If you want to know more about the Seeing AI app, you can check out our previous video in the cards and in the description below and find out about that. But for now, let's get navigating. Navigating is exactly what we're gonna do, Luke. The World Channel has been added to the Seeing AI app a long time ago, well, maybe not too long ago, but it had some features like uh, uh, identifying chairs and doors, and then they added LiDAR for some of the newer iPhones to add distance. We uh, looked at LiDAR on one of our live shows one time, didn't we? Yeah, we did, and it, and it worked pretty cool. It gave you a little bit more information. Yeah. But now what they've added to the World Channel is indoor navigation, and this is going to use spatial audio to help us with pre-recorded routes. And so basically the way the spatial audio works is first of all, you need to wear headphones because you have to have that right and left channel. And as you move through your route, you're going to hear audio beacons. And those beacons are gonna be kind of placed in the space around you. So if the beacon's in front of you, you're gonna hear it in front of you. If it's off to your right, you're gonna hear it to your right. Luke, if it's off to my left, yeah. which ear will I hear the beacon in? I'm thinking the ear on the back of your head? That is exactly right. Good. Or the one on your left, depends on how many ears you might have <laughs> already. So as I mentioned, it is a pre-recorded route, so someone is gonna go ahead and walk that route and first. And I think that's uh, gonna be me for this video, correct? It is, so um, you, we're gonna go ahead and Luke's gonna take over and record a route for me to follow. Let's do it. It's navigating time. I've been preparing for our video, and one of the features is That's short. That's the first time for everything. Eh? I know. I hate that. <laughs> one of it's short text, which is, is kind of cool. What does that do again? You just use the camera, point it at any text the camera sees. It just automatically reads it out loud. So that sounds really cool. handy, yeah. yeah. Uh, Corey, why don't you uh, try reading this first? Oh, I'd love to. I've never gotten a love letter before. Well, I'm very still, excited. You still haven't, so. I'm very excited. Get on with the video, you schmuck. Wow. Didn't know seeing eye was so rude. I <laughs> got him. So we're going to create a route for Corey to get to the photocopier here in Vision Forward. And in order to do so, we have the Seeing AI app open and we are in the world feature. First thing we need to do is find the actions menu here at the bottom right. And that's opened up a few different choices. One of those is indoor navigation and that's what we want to do here. So I've tapped on that. There is an add button at the top right. And if I tap on that, it's gonna allow me to start creating this route. Uh, it gives me some instructions here about what we need to do. The first thing is actually spinning around in the location that we want the start point to be, which is for me right here in tech. As we spin around, the, the camera is going to be picking up the room and that's going to help it to be able to identify the start point of our route. So let's do that. I'm going to hit the continue button and at this point I'm going to start spinning around. We have a click here letting us know completed. that it's picking up the room and it's telling me completed. the percentage of completion as well. I'll just keep on spinning, completed. keep on spinning around, moving the camera to pick up different parts of the room here. Completed. We're very close. Completed. And there we go. So we got 100% completed. Now the phone knows what our start destination looks like. Final step for this part is just to give a name to this starting location. So we'll go ahead and call this tech because that's the name of the room here. And then I'm going to hit the continue button. And that is now going to take now to the next Now walk to the stage. destination and tap end route. And it told us what we need to do. We're going to walk to the destination and then tap end route. So all I have to do is walk from here to the photocopier and then we should be good to go.
All right, we made it to the photocopier, so now to go downstairs, give this route to Corey, and see whether he's able to make it up here safely. All right, cut, cut, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna switch up the background a little bit. Uh, do you guys need any water or anything? Yeah, I'll take some water, please, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Time yeah I'm good, thank you, right. appreciate it. This has it. been a really intensive shoot. I'm it has. I'm glad we're having a rest. This weekend, my son asked to have five of his friends Woo! stay over. Yeah, five wow. 12-year-old boys. That's and, a lot. Uh, a bit, yeah. and he's like, hey, can we all go to McDonald's? So yeah. this weekend's gonna be expensive. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, you know, you do what you do. Yeah, but um, you know what, Claire Corey, you know you lent me that 20 a while back? I did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel like I probably owe you. So I've got 20 if you want to take it. Uh, yeah. I do. That'll be great. That'll be helpful. Yeah, that'll help out. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Hey, speaking of, did you know Seeing AI has a uh, currency, money identifier uh, wait, built in? It does? Yeah, yeah. Let me show you here. Oh. It's kind of cool the way it works. Oh. It's probably not very reliable though, Cole. You know, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, let's find out. I, I, I mean, I trust it pretty much. But I let's... trust your phone if I were you. No, no, no. no. Sure, sure. Let's find One dollar. What? Wait a minute. No, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you can't trust your phone. <laughs> Twice, tw one, once is a mistake. Yeah. One dollar. Now my kids are gonna be hungry. All right, Luke has created a route for us to the copy machine. Now, for this video, we're gonna pretend I don't know where the copier is, although I don't go to it all that often, so maybe this route will be helpful. We're gonna go ahead and start this. Now, before you do, make sure you have your headphones on. We talked about why that is important at the beginning of the video. So we're gonna go ahead and tap that actions button just as Luke did before. App switcher. And now our menu has popped up. We're gonna go ahead and choose indoor navigation. Channel. World actions. Filters. Once this menu has popped up, I'm gonna go ahead Action. and find the route that uh, Luke Action. created for Action. us, and it Special says tech to photocopier. There it is, and we're gonna go ahead and double tap that. And we're gonna choose the follow button to go ahead and load up this route so that we can follow it to the copier. So here we go. Looking for TEC. All right, it's loaded, and let's go ahead and follow our route. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and follow the audio beacons that we hear that is gonna guide us throughout our route. And this is why those headphones were important because it's using spatial audio. I'm gonna be able to hear each step or each beacon in relation to where I am. So right now I can hear that the beacon is in front of me. If I turn to the left, then I'm gonna actually hear the beacon off to my right. Or if I turn to my right, I'd hear the beacon off to my left. And that's how we're going to go ahead and follow this route is by following door, those beacons. Door. So we're going to walk straight door. ahead towards our sound. Chair, chair. We hear door chair. being announced so that we know that there is a door here. Window. As we come through, we now chair. start to hear that our beacon is chair. off to our left, letting us know that we need to turn chair. to the left. Door. Door. And now the beacon is in front of us so we can continue our route. Window. Door. Okay, we can now hear the beacon off to our right, letting us know we want to turn to the right, follow the stairs up. Beacon is off to my right again, letting you know to turn right. Another, side, another flight of steps. Beacon is now off to my left, letting me know to turn left at the top of the stairs. Door. Sees a door. Okay, I now hear the beacon to my left. So I'm gonna turn left. Great, I hear door. Chair. I know I'm coming to a door. Let's go ahead and go through. Beacon continues to be in front of me, letting me know to go forward. Door. Continue door. in front, so door. I know I'm just gonna be going straight. Beacon continues to be in front of me, letting me know I'm going the right direction. Refrigerator. Keep going. I now hear it's getting a little quieter. Door. That's telling me that I've passed where I've wanted to go. So now I can kind of hear it quietly behind me. I'm gonna spin around. I can now hear the beacon to my right, and as I move forward, it's gonna get a little louder. There we go. Screen. We're gonna go ahead and follow. Door. I'm gonna follow it. Door. Now I can hear it off to my left a little bit. 
come through this doorway, suitcase, suitcase. follow it. And we've made it to our copy machine. All right, Coy, did you walk the route? I did, thank okay. you very much. Yeah. I did work up a bit of a hunger, though. Could you be a gentleman and pass me the ketchup? I'm always a gentleman, Coy. Ketchup? You should know that by now. Okay. Here's the ketchup. Appreciate it. Hmm, it's not cold at all. You know what? You already burned me once today. I don't trust <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Coy, my phone's ringing now, right? I'll see you later. <laughs> all right, seeing you, help me out here. Busy bee honey clover. Honey, I knew it wasn't ketchup. You better beware. Well, that was a new indoor navigation feature of the world section of the Seeing AI app. Wow, that's a lot of words. Corey, uh, how did you find this new feature? Uh, it was good. I mean, I, I think the audio beacons, the spatial audio was kind of cool. It made sense. It worked really well. I think um, two downfalls for me. One is I'm not a big fan of having to wear two earphones. Um, that's a little bit tougher when you're navigating, just I, I like to have at least one ear open. And then the other piece is that you got to obviously pre-record the route, so that's a little bit tougher. But I, I get why it's not like you can just uh, have these pre-recorded routes in there for, for you know everyone to use. Sure, Although sure. the share feature is kind of cool, so you could create a route and then share it to someone Yeah, else. so in this example, I actually recorded the route on your phone. However, I could have done it on my phone and then shared it to your phone, yeah. right? Exactly, right. exactly. So that's kind of cool too. So all in all, I, I love what Seeing AI does. I love that they keep adding more and more features that it's beneficial for people with vision loss. Yeah, me too. And if any of you guys like using Seeing AI and any of its features, put it down in the comments. I'd love to know what you're using, what features you're finding useful, or maybe you use a different app and you prefer that. So do let us know. And of course, do like and subscribe. All of that stuff really helps out. And if you want to get in touch with us, there are three ways. You can call us, 414-615-0103. Why don't you send us an email, techconnect at vision-forward.org. And of course, you can always visit us online, vision-forward.org. That's all we've got time for today. So we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. That's not a 20, you liar. Nobody puts honey on fries. That's gross. Corey, wake up. Corey, wake up. We have a video on seeing AI to shoot. I give up. Mm -hmm.